This is Hunza in north of Pakistan, stunningly beautiful and part of the ancient Silk Route. It's autumn and soon the schools and colleges dotted around these mountains will be closed for the long winter. For now, these children remain engrossed in their computer class. It's a far cry from the late 1980s when the education provided in government-owned schools was not good. Local communities decided it was time to start their own. Muhammad Ibrahim was a teacher for 40 years and is chairman of the local Ismaili community. We all joined hands to start with community schools which can produce students who can compete with the challenges of the modern world. Today community run schools and colleges outnumber those run by the state. Education go top most priority pe dekhte hain. Education is the top most priority for the residents of Hunza and for that they are ready to sell anything they have and will eat grass but will not compromise on their kids education. That's the reason we have 95% literacy rate. Education up to secondary school is free and mandatory for all children ensuring no child is left out. We are very keen to study to become useful citizens of society and without that we can't achieve any goal in our life. Education is the only way to move forward. That's why our parents prefer that their kids should study at any cost. A short walk from the main building. Younger children are busy. Classes start at a young age and enrollments are high. Hunza is the most densely populated district of Gilgit, Baltistan. With scarce resources and lack of opportunities, most people here have opted for an education to improve their lives. Hunza now prides itself on being the most literate district in Pakistan for both men and women. And everyone is encouraged to further their education. Although the people of Hunza have learned to change through education, they have not forgotten a rich cultural past. Gamal Haider Al Jazeera, Hunza Gilgit, Baltistan.